So this is for cDNA synthesis. Often reverse transcriptase will come in kits. This is a superscript bilo kit. It may not be the same kit you use or will use in the future or you will use in class or um, in other labs. But often they come in kits from different companies. This is in Vitrogen, there's Promega and other, other companies that sell reverse transcriptase. These kits come with protocols. This one I, I printed out from the internet, right? I just went to Vitrogen, looked up the kit name, and printed out the protocol, and they have a suggested use on how to do reverse transcription. For this kit, it only requires the enzyme is this uh, 10x superscript, plus a buffer, which is the 5x bile reaction mix, RNA, and water. Other kits require you to separately add the DNTPs, perhaps DTT, that's common in um, cDNA synthesis kits to add those two things separately. But in this kit, the Vilo reaction mix, or the, the master mix buffer, if you will, has all the reagents that we need in it. And so we only need the buffer, the enzyme mix, the RNA, and water. So I have those reagents here. Um, this is the enzyme mix, the buffer. We still need to thaw out, and some water and our RNA. The starting material can range from 2 micrograms of total RNA up to 2.5 micrograms of total RNA. We're going to have less than that. Um, this reaction, these tubes are right about at 16 nanograms per microliter. We are going to use all of the reaction um, so we can get enough total RNA into the um, reverse transcription. So. For cDNA synthesis, I'm going to label a tube, cDNA, okay. and now in my lab book, obviously, I'll be writing down what tissue it is because cDNA isn't just like genomic DNA. I mean, every sample is different, <laughs> uh, and every sample of RNA is different depending on the tissue that you extract. Could be leaf, could be petal, could be stress tissue, could be, you know, liver or whatever kind of tissue you're extracting, the RNA pool, as you all know, is going to be different depending on the genes that are expressed. So it's important wherever you record uh, the cDNA or make your cDNA that you also record the tissue type and what RNA sample it came from. So the instructions here for the bilo say first of all we need four microliters of the reaction mix or the buffer that into the cDNA tube. We need two microliters of the bilo. And for a 20 microliter volume, we need to add 14 of our RNA. I'm mixing it with my header. Okay, it's mixed up. Now this particular reaction says, or protocol, says for it to sit at 10 minutes at room temperature, and that's not normal. Other kits are very different. You go directly to the incubation of 42 degrees. After 10 minutes, we're going to put it at 42 degrees for an hour. So I'm going to set timer to 10 minutes. Okay, so our timer just went off for the reverse transcription. So it's been 10 minutes now at room temperature. We're going to put it at 42 degrees. And it just so happens that I have a block here sitting at 42 degrees. We're going to put that in there for the next hour.